What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV. In this video, we're gonna talk about nearby share. This is a feature that allows you to share files with people nearby that have Android phones. Now, there's gonna, I'm gonna give you like the tips and tricks about this because it's a really, really cool feature. You don't need internet if you don't have any, like say you're just right next to each other and you have no internet. Like we were doing this all the time at our little camp pixel thing because um, the internet was kind of spotty out there, especially for cell, cell signals. And we were sharing videos and photos back with each other really, really quickly. Um, this is just like AirDrop, but this is just for Android devices. So without further ado, let's jump into this. So first of all, if you want to actually share something, you can pretty much share whatever you want. So for instance, I'm just going to use my Galaxy phone here. I'm going to go into my folder. I'm going to go into my gallery app, but you can pretty much share like whatever you want. It doesn't really matter. So I'll open up my gallery app, find the photo that I want to share or photos, videos, whatever you want to do. It can be multiple things. Then once you do hit the share button at the bottom of your screen. And then once you do that, you're gonna see that you can do nearby share. It should be at the top there. So just tap nearby share. And then it opens up this and you can come in here and you can set your device's name. So this is Greg's, I'm gonna put, it just says tablet, but it's really my Z Fold 4. So I'm gonna put Greg's Z Fold 4, I'm gonna hit okay to that. You can change, so you can change the name right in there. You can go into device visibility and we'll go to that. And basically, no. so there's multiple things you can do. You can go, if you choose hidden, it says no one can share with you until you make yourself visible. To make yourself visible, temporarily tap the nearby share uh, tile in the quick setting. So you can do that. You have contacts. Under contacts, what that will do is it'll only share, contacts can share with you when they are nearby. Transfers won't start until you accept. To make yourself visible to other people, temporarily tap the nearby file share in quick setting. So again, very, very simple, similar thing. And then ultimately everyone, everyone is something that I personally used a lot with everybody. I turned it on to everyone. So anyone can share with you when they're nearby. Transfers won't start until you hit accept to make yourself visible to other temporary tap. So basically if you just want to not have to really think about anything and you just want to have it get these notifications when someone wants to share something with you, change it to at the bottom there, you'll see keep everyone mode on all the time to securely share with contacts, nearby share regularly, saves contacts from your signed in devices. So basically, when someone tries to share something with you, you'll get a notification, hey, blah, 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 is trying to share a file with you. You can hit accept at that point and then the file will get sent over to you. You'll get a little notification on the screen. And you also wanna hit save at the bottom in order for these settings to take effect. Also at the bottom, you'll see by continuing, you allow nearby share to temporarily turn on Wi-Fi and Bluetooth each time you share. Make sure you hit turn on. And then at that point, it's looking to share these two, two or three photos uh, for a, a device. So it's looking for nearby devices. I have phones nearby, but in order for me to send these to somebody, the phone has to be unlocked. So I'm gonna bring up my Pixel phone. There, yeah, there it goes. So I'm gonna tap my Pixel name, my Pixel phone. It's trying to connect. And it's showing, I don't know if you can see right there, I'll take a screenshot. And now I can either decline or accept. So I'm gonna hit accept and it receives it and it's done. And it shows up in my downloads on this phone. So it transferred from my Galaxy phone to this phone. But just remember, if you're sharing with yourself on a phone or to somebody else, that other phone that you're sending it to has to be unlocked and ready to go. And it has to have very similar settings to what we did right here. Next, go into your settings on your phone and we're gonna search nearby share. And it should show at the bottom, you'll see under others nearby share, tap on that. That brings you into the actual settings of everything. You can turn it on and off at the top here. You can choose your specific you know, Gmail account that you wanna use. You can change the device name by tapping on it. You can go back into device visibility and change that if you want. Again, depends on how you wanna do that. You also have your data. So you can have data maybe used from small files or Wi-Fi only or without internet. I would save it as just data. Uh, and then it will automatically switch between if you have data or not automatically for you. Show notification, I would definitely do this. When uh, devices are sharing nearby, make sure it'll give you a notification on your phone like it did on my Pixel. Just to go back to device visibility, if you have it set under contacts or hidden, I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna hit the home button and you're gonna have to hit it under your quick toggles. So I have my quick toggles here and you have to look for quick share under here. And if you don't see it, I'll show you how to bring it up by hitting the three dots in the top right and then go to edit buttons. 
And when I bring my and when I bring my quick toggles down, you're gonna see it's right here. If you didn't have it, you can always add it the way I just showed you, but ultimately um, you would want that on. It's on already, but if I tap on it, I can also change it. Who can you share with? No one, context only, allow nearby. But ultimately, if it's the person's not in your context, you're gonna to wanna to turn on to add everyone. So there you guys go. That is quick share, some tips and tricks on how to get it working and how to use it. It's actually really, really simple. It's really fast. It works great and you can share basically any file that you want. Have a great day. We'll see you down the road. Peace.